So good morning, Felicity. How Hello. Are you? Hi, I'm fine. No, I say Felicity. Now, what, now you you're here at the university. Are you, are you a lecturer? But I mean, uh, did they call you Doctor Woods? What, what's what's your thing? Um, you can call me Felicity. I mean, my title's <laughs> professor, but it's not really worth it. But what's your background? What's your degree is in? What? How did you get? In in um. My degree, my degree is in literature, but my research uh, interests have now moved on after uh -huh, my PhD. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, okay, good. No, well, well, what is your research in? Now, at present. Oh yes, yes. I am very interested in forms of contemporary ritual and magic. I got into it by researching local um, beliefs, sort of. Mm -hmm. In, the in aspects of the supernatural mm -hmm. and certain magical practices. I was very interested in um, the Ukutwala, the money generating magic mm. involving the spirit world. Mm. And I did a lot of research and uh, wrote a book about one particular oh, yeah, Ukutwala practitioner in the trance sky. His life story was weird and wonderful and fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I got quite hooked into looking at our society right now and where we find forms of magic and ritual. And I don't really like the sense of othering that can easily happen in study, uh, anthropology and studies of this kind, where you look at other people. Because I think Western, modern, contemporary Western society has its own areas of enchantment, magicality, capitalism, for instance, mm. is a site of extreme myth, mystery and magic, and the corporate practices that have crept into the public domain, mm. like education, universities, mm. often they bound round rituals of various kinds, mm. and myths, areas of mystery and magic. So I think I'm looking at what's going on in our societies right now mm -hmm. and to what extent it's not realistic and practical, it's actually magic, superstition. Hmm. I like to talk about that at some other time, but right now, let me just say how I mm -hmm. found you, let's put it that way, I found you through a pamphlet. Of course, I've seen you walking around the campus, but uh, it was a pamphlet, uh, it was a published in 1997. Oh, the Toomey, yeah. Oh, the Toomey, yes, yes. And that was a creative writing project. Yes. So, tell me about that project. Brian Walter, who used to be in the English department and got the creative writing course going, it's an optional course when it's running. I do it and I facilitate it now. Um, Brian writes poetry of his own, lovely Eastern Cape infused collections. Mm -hmm. Um, he's now based in NMU, essentially, in PE, Port Elizabeth. And when he was in the department, Toomey was his baby. Mm, mm. Brian would sort of put out Toomey featuring Eastern Cape writers, local writers, as well as Fort Hare, Fort Hare, people, right. Fort Hare students. The issue that I saw you in, uh, and the first poem was from, from Dennis Brutus, in, in that particular issue. Dennis Brutus, the, the, the poet, he was in that issue, so I was wondering, you know... I'm not sure how Brian... I can't remember which of Dennis Brutus's poems was in, mm -hmm. and how it was that it came to be in. I think Brian would be the one that would know. Yeah, but anyway, I, but I, so I, was, I was going through the pamphlet, somebody had given it to me, in fact, somebody from the theology department had given me the thing. Oh, okay. And I just went into it, and of course, I, I, the, the, the title, Revenge of the Chicken, it caught my eye, mm -hmm. and then then I, I, I read through it. I liked the story. Then some uh, right away, almost like uh, our um, the international students are having this this uh, thing uh, on uh, on the 30th of, of May, uh, like a meet and greet. It's a whole day thing, and they had this whole program. And they had a slot for poetry, drama, uh, and they had approached somebody, but that person didn't mm -hmm. well, didn't pitch up. So so I said, well, I, I can do stuff like this. I said, well, okay. Uh, maybe you do. I said, then I showed them. I had the book. I had the. I had the, the to me with me, mm. and I said, maybe we can do this story. I was just going to read. I said, yeah, yeah, sure. We can do that story because it's short. Uh -huh. I said, fine. But but you yeah, understand, I'm an audio dramatist, mm. so I re immediately started to, you know, adapt your story. What it would need to be. Yeah, and that. Well, we could have read it straight. It would have been just fine. Mm. But uh, but strangely enough, here's the thing. When I saw your story, the first thing that got my mind, that hit me, was the opening line. Yesterday, all the chickens came home to roost, is your first sentence. Now, here's the weird thing about magic. 
when I started to adapt it, I actually started to adapt it on Malcolm X's birthday, the 19th of May. Mm -hmm. That's it. That started to my working at home. Started to, uh, on at that night, and. You have to understand, Malcolm got, he got kicked, well, his, his, there's a famous saying, he said, chicken's coming home to roost. Yes, and that's what got well, him into trouble. The old saying, yeah. So it's like a revolutionary thing. Anyway, I look at this now, when I read it, of course, I'm, su I'm sure you, you it's, it's, it's almost like an animal rights uh, piece. Tell me, how, well, how did you write it? Well, why did you come to this particular piece? Why did you write this piece? I'm interested in sort of, yes interesting juxtapositions. That is the way a lot of writers work. They bring things together that you wouldn't think of linking yourself. You know, they make connections. And I guess that was a sort of connection I made because we're so aware of takeaway chicken places when we're driving through Eastern Cape, Transkei, Alice. They're all around us. And it's often great starting off, if you're writing, with what is tremendously familiar and giving it a twist. Mm. It's interesting that you say that because creatively, I mean, I know uh, in, in music, for instance, uh, all like, uh, for instance, uh, Sun Ra, Jimi Hendrix, uh, George Clinton from the uh, uh, P-Funk, Funk Adels, they all say that if you look at their music, it's a, it's, a, it's a combination between reality and fantasy. And to me, that's what your story is, a combination between, it's real. But it's, 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 it's done as almost like science fiction. Or, mm, or like well, some type of fantasy, I guess. But also the idea of using the chickens came to mind because my family background has been very steeped in animal rights issues. That mm. was my mother's big thing. Mm. And yeah. So we grew up with quite an awareness of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I didn't change uh, much in, in your in your in your in, in the thing. I didn't change uh, a whole lot at all. But it, um, because of certain things that I know, I, 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 I because the way a script is, you know, I have to break it up so it'll be, you know, uh, mm -hmm. whatever. But one of my favorite parts is um, where there's this thing where all the chickens come down. So I have them toy toy. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's a unique thing. But there is something since you were in the mystical. There is something because I know you could you can say this. I, I, I um, you, this wasn't in your story, but I put it in there when she when she finally uh, uh, gets the chickens leave mm -hmm. because they're they're going to Bishu right, mm -hmm. and she's going to run up to Hog's back, you know, she's going to go home. So she's so I say when she jumps in the car, I says uh, like a uh, 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 be praised, thank you God, Amada be praised, thank you God, and then that happens to my car that I be praised. Now I pur purposely did could you just tell us what you know you know uh, Amata. You know, you know, you you know all this. I, you know what? Mm. The supernatural is a vast area, mm -hmm. and the areas of the sort of supernatural I'm most interested in deals more with the, I guess, the more because I came in via wealth giving spirits, particularly, mm -hmm. and the specific water spirits. Mm -hmm. um, it's not been an extensive knowledge of the entire realm mm -hmm. of, let us say, the sort of uh, Zulu, the supernatural. Um, so yes, well, sort of divine being, divine mm -hmm. presence, which in English gets translated into God. Mm -hmm. But yes. My research into sort of mysticism and supernatural has taken me into other other domains of it, mm. essentially. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so anyway, so 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 so, so we're going to perform this, and you're going to play. Strangely enough, you're going to play Felicity, who's the thing in there. Ah, but being a chicken sounds more fun, judging from the script. It, it, it would be, but yeah, I'm yes, sorry, well, we have to, okay. have to we have to represent uh, mm -hmm. somehow like that. And um, I, I, and, and I just it was just a joy to uh, to work to work with this. Now you just said something to me because I share the same philosophy. When you put something out there, everybody's so into money, whatever have you. You say, look, it's just out there. If somebody wants to steal it or adapt it's it, gone. it's done. Because you, mm. and, and my my thing is, well, I've done that. Uh, if you you can't rip me off, because I can I, I can I can do 29 million other of these yes. things. You know what I mean, like yes. that. Well, how did you come to how do you come to that unselfishness? Or that, or that, that no, but it's um, it's natural. It's organic. If you look at literatures of any kind, it's all over the world. You see how it's happened. Bits and pieces of something. 
creep into another one or shape it in various ways. Mm. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking of great sort of examples from English lit. I mean, let's see, Chaucer, when he was doing the Canterbury Tales, was a shameless plagiarist. A chunk of the stories come from the Decameron, Boccaccio's Decameron. And, yep, Shakespeare whipped a lot from other sources, whether it was Geoffrey of Monmouth or the sort of Roman chroniclers. He, some of it's actually taken almost word for word, hmm. like some of the, fam the famous speech about Cleopatra and Antony and Cleopatra, mm -hmm. about the bar burnished, the bar she sat on like a burnished throne, etc. Hmm. And I don't know, when you look everywhere in literature, tough black it's dark osmosis mm. it just seeps from one thing into another it was too big when they had I think it was or not words were for Col Coleridge or something like that with, with Kubla Khan whether the poem was whether it was uh, uh, edited or written that whole oh know. he tried to write it ran out of ideas so concocted a story from about the person from Porlock knocking on his door <laughs> to disrupt things it was it makes a good story mm -hmm. well, but anyway. yeah that's well, about well, Felicity, I, I want to really uh, thank you. you know, wh wh what's going to happen, too, is that everybody that's read this has been, they really, really, really like it a lot. And I'm trying to encourage people, you know, take it back to your culture and, and you know, make it, make it your own. Take it, take, take it to your culture. Mm. What I do when I run creative writing classes, I take my students into Alice. We do a little walk into Alice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they've got to find something mm. and turn it into a story. Mm. And in a way, looking at Alice with sort of writer's eyes, mm. you know, what can you find in this town mm. that could become the stuff of story? So you start with the very local mm -hmm. and really um, writing so that sort of comes alive really needs to engage often with that. Well, I really want to thank you for giving us some time here and, and for your participation when we when we finally perform this. Uh, it's going to be a hoot, as we say, or as we say, we're going to have a clucking good time. <laughs> yes, well, a hoot is more like Oxback at the moment. Our gardens are full of owls. Mm -hmm.